the third video of this series, where I paint portraits of three of the main characters of the good fight. And today I'm painting a portrait of Luca Quinn, one of the very strong empowered female characters on this show and one of my favorite characters. And this time I wanted to use another different method. Um, I wanted to be very time efficient because I didn't have a lot of time and I also didn't really feel like painting so I did this little trick. I just traced the picture to get the outlines to speed up the whole process mm, and this is something that is often frowned upon because um, well my best bet is that it's a bit like magicians showing their magic tricks and people are people feel a little bit betrayed. Um, I feel like that I don't know. I, I mean, of course, it's probably a much more complex topic, but I feel like that's a part of it. Mm, as soon as it's revealed to be just, you know, like a technique you can use, it feels a bit like a betrayal, I think. But yeah, um, I decided to do it like this because I'm all for being efficient. <laughs> I decided to um, trace the outline and then just paint the whole picture black and white because I didn't feel like colors and also with the painting before this where I was painting Diane Lockhart I also decided to do it in black and white and it was a lot of fun and um, I just I, I just wasn't in a phase where I was feeling like colors and since this was a private project I was just like hey <laughs> I don't have to <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it mm, so yeah what I did here is basically I used a dark gray background so that's a middle tone and from there on you can go into the highlights and you can go into the shadows um, you basically have the baseline already there mm. And that makes it a lot easier than when you start with a white background, for example, or when you start with a black background, because then mm, you, you're you starting with an extreme and starting with the gray is starting in the middle and then you can just go separately into the two directions and decide how far you want to go without it having to be um, too black or too white, you know? So I find that a lot easier. And basically that's also a technique you can see in traditional art and art history. If you look at the Renaissance artists, often when they would draw they would use colored paper so for example brown paper or gray paper and then they would use brown or red or black charcoal or just a pigmented pencil and also a white pencil or white charcoal or pastel something um, I'm not completely sure what how it's called in English and they would also start with the middle tone then and then go into the shadows and into the lights so that's a very convenient technique so yeah um, I'm gonna keep it short today I'm not gonna talk so much um, I just wanted to give you a quick hello um, hope you're all doing well say a few words about this painting but for the rest now I'm gonna let you listen to this wonderful music in the background um, yeah I'm sending you uh, I'm sending you good vibes oh god no I'm sending you I'm not sending you good vibes, I'm sending you positive energy. That sounds nicer. I'm sending you positive energy. I hope you're all doing okay. Yeah, and see you in the next video. Bye!